Alright guys, in this uh, video I'll give you a quick tutorial on how to kind of utilize Magnet Enterprise as a cloud-based solution um, for sharing and maybe downloading and uploading data with. So I'm starting a job with Magnet Field, um, just call the job Enterprise One. Uh, next, I'm not going to be necessarily connecting to any equipment, I'm just sharing the data. So next, the data that I will be importing will be in Maryland State Plane Coordinate, so these settings are correct. U.S. Survey Feet, Northern Easting Elevation. All right. So my job is started. I don't have any points in here yet, right? Uh, at this moment, I am pretending that I do not have a Magnet Enterprise account, and I'm just going to be uh, uploading the data from my thumb drive. So I'll go into Exchange, From File. I have some points that I want to uh, import over here and they are of a text format so we'll go top context uh, it happens to be called landfill uh, these are some control points that I took uh, earlier they are in Maryland state plane so that's correct 20 points are imported which means now if I look at my map I actually have some points on a road over here uh, these were actually uh, drone targets, white big targets and gray targets apparently because that's what I call them. But uh, again, at the end of the day, my points are imported. And now if I go ahead and actually survey more stuff in and let's say I need to create or I'm, I'm walking around with the actual GPS or rover or something or uh, a robot and I start surveying in more points, again, I'm doing this uh, as in simulate mode over here, I say create a point. I'll say this is point number 120, uh, northern easting of elevation, whatever it is, code, I'll call it the uh, edge of pavement, for example, EP. Uh, I'm not going to code it. So we'll say we have an EP here and we'll create another EP over here. It's okay. So imagine I just shot these with a total station or a robot or GPS. And I keep on going, of course, I can uh, add more points. But now let's say for the day I'm finished and I rather than just closing the job and going driving back to the office and uh, downloading the actual file by virtue of going into from file and creating a points file. Instead, what I'll do, I will actually upload this file to the cloud. In order to upload the cloud, the first thing that I usually do is uh, make sure that under the Enterprise tab in the Connect button over here, under Enterprise, I'm actually connected as me. If you're not, you can actually disconnect over here. And what you can do is under Change User, you can input your username. I was logged in, so I'll just duplicate what you saw there. My credentials. This is my username. Here's my password. Hit OK. And now I can choose to connect or not connect up once startup. I was already connected in the first place. But if you leave this check, every time you start a job, it will automatically try to connect to the cloud. So we'll say, sure, I'm happy with this. Hit connect. If you have an internet connection, if you do not have an internet connection at this point, it's going to fail. But uh, it'll connect. And then next thing that it'll actually try to uh, do for you is connect you with a project. And let's say because we just started a brand new project over here and none of these projects uh, make any sense. So you say, oh, you know what? I actually want to create a new project and I'll give it a name, call it Enterprise or something, uh, whatever your project name would be. So what this does is reaches, reaches out to the actual cloud um, drive, creates a folder, creates a project for you with that name. And now anything that's associated with that project that you are connected to through this username and password will just be associated with that folder. So now it's created. That's why it takes a little bit uh, of time. You can also see in your top right corner over here, this little M icon means I am connected to the project. I'm in the enterprise project already. I can just now hit home. And now when I go into exchange, Again, mind you, we have all the data that we kind of want to work with already. So if I go into my exchange little button, 
under exchange, I will skip the typical from and to or even from and to over here. I'll go straight into the enterprise button right here. And under enterprise, I am already connected here to this project. If I made a mistake and I need to save my job to a different project, I can. But I will just be uploading to the enterprise project. And over here now I can decide, hey, I want to upload the current job, the whole current job. And I'll say, why not? So I'll upload the current job. It lets me see the actual job name. It says that I can either add or, you know, add more of these files that I want to do here, but I'll just say, yeah, go ahead and actually upload. So what it's doing is the job that I'm currently in, it being called enterprise one is going into the enterprise folder that I created or the project name. And uh, this now resides on that drive already. Meaning if I pull up a web browser and I go to, I am already in, at the right location. I just want you to see how you get to it. So if you go into topcompositioning.com, except the cookies over here, but if you go to the My Apps button at the very left, uh, this pulls out a little sidebar here. You can go into Enterprise. Enterprise lets you sign up or sign in. So if you're already signed up, obviously you don't need to sign up anymore. I'll just go into sign in. I will type in my uh, credentials, uh, which are right here. Password, I'll remember my password, hit OK. It logs me in and me having uploaded this job uh, from uh, Magnet field. So this is my 5,000 that's actually out in the field right now, connected to the project. Uh, back at the office, I'm logged in as me also. If I look into my projects over here, we called that one project we just uploaded Enterprise. There it is. There it is. In the inbox over here, I will now have a file that's associated with this project. So I'll go hit the little button to expand it. I can view details which are not very useful because what it'll show you is the actual latitude longitude of the points but again it shows you that there's something but the more interesting thing is if you hit the little back button there is a uh, button that looks like a push pin if you click this this will zoom you into the uh, map location of the job and then if you give the internet enough time to actually download the correct uh, position and the map view of where you are uh, it'll give you this little push pin here. If you click the push pin, you can hit the render job data. When you hit the render job data thing, now you can actually see these are the points. So let's see, this guy is a white big target that we created. Uh, let's see, are these, this, uh, these are the actual points that we uh, collected uh, through the magnet field data collecting software. Uh, let me see if I can find any of the other points that we just created. White big, white big. Let's go gray. So you can see that the actual data is here. If I want to, I can download this data uh, to my computer. My computer's now downloaded the file and I can open this file. Now, if I download it, uh, if I wanted to download just the coordinates for this thing, what I would do is in magnet field, I will go into exchange and I'll create and the actual text file out of these things. So I'll go into two file, I'll say points, top context custom, that's correct. And I will export them as enterprise one, for example. We'll say, okay, the comma delimited, northern easting elevation, next. Maryland State Bank coordinates is correct. How many decimals? That's correct. So 22 points exported. Now this exists, but it still only exists on the job itself, on the FC device that you're actually using. But now to share that file over to the enterprise account, I'll go into enterprise and I'll say, instead of upload current job, I'll just say upload files. And under upload files, I need to remember where I actually saved the file, but I know it went into the IE file that, uh, folder. So when I look at the files that are here, I will look for the enterprise one. Here it is. This is the file that I just created. I'll hit the OK button. It just says that it's the enterprise TXT that I will be uploading. I'll say yes. And what it does is associates and uploads that file to the cloud drive. 
and it takes a little time because obviously it's going from the field into the cloud database but now that file exists here which means if I click over to uh, my browser at my desktop I now have uh, this file here which means if I download this file and I open this file once it's uh, downloaded this is the actual uh, coordinate data that I uh, captured from the data collector having started the job on the data collector without being connected to the enterprise account but now having the actual enterprise account I can see that I can share the data back and forth if I need to add a file or a folder or something to the same project which is called enterprise over here into the inbox I can uh, go ahead and actually do an upload here too so there is an upload button here and under upload I can browse to certain files that I can uh, drag and drop to this little folder or this little window once uh, we drag and drop those things now on the data collector side if I need to download I will see those files right here obviously I didn't upload anything else right now so I only have two files but this communication works forward and back so it's a useful tool to be able to not have to keep on going back to the office and still uh, have access to the files that you need for your job uh, once you're finished all you have to do is just close your job close a uh, uh, magnet field and uh, Mm, just access the files that uh, you created in the field or created in the office in uh, on your data collector or on your desktop computer in the office so hopefully this is a useful video uh, if you have any questions or comments and uh, if you want to experiment more uh, let me know and uh, I can help you out all right good luck